In this video we will be choosing a simple random sample using a random number table. In a simple random sample or SRS each individual has an equal chance of being selected to be in the sample. You could use a random number table such as in your book or a random number generator, the TI has one, but the best uses something that's truly random such as atmospheric noise. Two steps in choosing a simple random sample. That is you label and then you table. To label you give each member of the population a numerical label of the same length. For population sized 1 to 9 you're going to use a single digit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For populations of size 10 through 99 you're going to use two digits 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 all the way up to the largest number in your population. For um, population size 100 to 999, you're going to use three digits. It's important that you give the right length label. A table of random digits is just a long string of the digits 0 through 9 where each entry in the table is equally likely to be any of the 10 digits and the entries are independent of each other but you want each person in the sample to have a chance of being chosen. So let's do some examples to see if you got this. What are your first three labels if you wish to choose an SRS from the 50 states? 50 has two digits so you're going to go with 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 all the way up to 50. What are your first three labels if you wish to choose an SRS from nine of your friends? You want the shortest label possible so you're going to go with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What are the labels if you wish to choose an SRS from 3,617 community college students? That number has four digits so you're going to have to have four digits in every single label so you're going to start with 0, 0, 0, 1 and then three zeros and a two and then three zeros and a four all the way up to 3,617. Now we're going to go to the table step. And the first step, which is critical, is to blindly, which means close your eyes, choose a starting point in the table, read left to right successive groups of digits of the length you chose as labels and record your results. Do not duplicate your chosen individuals. You don't want anybody to get punished twice or rewarded twice and then report the names of those chosen. So here's an example. Select an SRS of three states from the 50 US states. First label all the states. These states are in the order of the least correct to the most correct. Most people got them correct. Uh, most people missed Minnesota. And then find a random number table it's usually in the appendix of your textbook and as you can see it's a bunch of numbers with spaces to help you decide to help you locate a number if you're talking with someone else since um, we're doing this together I get to choose I, my blindly chosen number was 59 there aren't 59 states so I'm going to skip that and go to 53 I jump right across that the 5 and the 3 go together and then 50, and then 50 again, and then 14, and 76, there aren't 76, so I'm not going to use that one for sure, 12, 74, 78, go down to the beginning of the next row, to 44, 52, 66, if you needed that many. If you got to the bottom, of the page and didn't have enough states chosen you would go back up to the top and start with 39 or it might be 03 depending on how your numbers worked out. So now we have at least three states chosen and our table results were 50, 50, 14 and 12 but we're not going to use the 50 twice so finally we're going to report the states that were chosen. 50th was California, 14th was Arkansas, and the 12th was Oklahoma.